Duquesne Traverse is a challenging off-track walk that is located just north of Lake St. Clair in Tasmania. We completed the range in 5 days and walked from Pine Valley through to Duquesne Gap. More experienced parties may choose to complete the full traverse including Mount Gould and the Guardians into the circuit. With the right weather window there are many optional mountains one may choose to summit whilst walking the traverse including the Acropolis, Mount Hyperion, Mount Gerion and Wald Mountain. Day 1 consisted of the Acropolis and the night spent at the luscious Pine Valley. Here we are at the summit of the Acropolis and the views are just stunning. Day 2 consisted of the labyrinth. With a cloudy evening we camped up near the Duquesne Abel and had superb views over Lake Helios and out towards Mount Ossa and the Pelion Gap. Just walking through the labyrinth now. So it's a beautiful place. Day 3 consisted of a lot of up and down as we made our way to Mount Massif via the Big Gun Pass. We spotted our only snake for the trip, a lowland copperhead and had an awesome viewpoint of the Southern Cliffs of Mount Ossa from the top of Massif. Unfortunately we had a very windy night camping in the Massif Bowl and only managed a couple of hours of broken sleep. Day 4 consisted of the challenging traverse to Falling Mountain. We awoke to mist and light drizzle which held throughout the morning. There were some tricky sections traversing a razorback which consisted of some large boulders with considerable drops and caves underneath whilst carrying heavy packs. As we approached Falling Mountain the clouds started to disperse and we got our first views of the massive boulder field ahead and good views back over the ridge we had just traversed. With awesome weather forecast for the following morning, we had originally planned to camp up on Falling Mountain and catch a sunrise at Castle Crag. However, shortly after camp we realised we had lost 1.5 litres of water and with no water available we had to make the unfortunate call to continue. Coming off Falling Mountain was tough, having to navigate certain cliff breaks broken up by pineapple grass and once off the Dollarite we had a full hour of scrub bashing ahead to reach the overland track at Duquesne Gap. We then camped at Bert Nichols Hut and walked back out to Lang St. Clair the following morning.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe.